normal people travel, they fly or drive. Anything but this. It's not sanitary. It's nostalgic. Why don't you relax? You turn into a real maniac on these trips. I am relaxed. I'm more relaxed than you'll ever be. It's not a competition. It's a vacation. Do you even know where we're going? I'm following the directions. GPS is never wrong. I'm getting claustrophobic. Here we are. Hmm. Ah! Casa de Calma, the fanciest, smanciest resort on Earth. What, is Casa de Calma Spanish for false advertising? Eh, I think we're lost, Doc. Never buy a GPS from a vending machine. Hey, isn't that your uncle? Hey, Daffy, it's me, Uncle... <laughs> I've never seen that man before in my life. Let's go. Did you know, it's 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, and over a mile deep? I mean in places. It's not a mile deep everywhere. Although that looks like a mile. Did you know? Recent evidence suggests the Colorado River formed a canyon over... Maybe they have earplugs in the gift shop. Ooh! Mini license plates! Aha! Daniel, Darwin, Doug, Eduardo. What the? No Daffy? You have five Darvins and no Daffy? Darvin? A thousand and one Grand Canyon jokes. That's about a thousand more than I thought there were. I mean, what, did someone just match Darren and Marvin together and think that that's a clever name? Well, it's not. It's a stupid name. Darwin is the world's stupidest name. Great name. And the soda. I left my wallet at home. Was originally inhabited by Native Americans, some of whom may have considered the Grand Canyon to be a holy site. So, what do you think? I've seen better. Let's go see a movie. Sir, you threw a can of soda into the Grand Canyon. That's littering on federal property. And who are you? I'm a park ranger. Who are you? Oh, uh, Darvin. Andrew's son. You're coming with me. Wait, uh, let's be reasonable. Buddy, if you don't put some pants on, you're gonna be coming with me too. I think I saw some in the gift shop. Let me go and I'll pay you whatever you want! Ah, I forgot my wallet. Bugs, pay him whatever he wants! Aren't you gonna uh, say something? Why is the Grand Canyon called the Grand Canyon? Because he thought Gargantuan Canyon made him sound fat. Well, if you don't like that one, I got a thousand more. Oh, I'm so bored. I read all my magazines, I did the crossword. I ate all my peanuts. I ate all your peanuts. <laughs> I peed four times. Oh, I feel like I've been on this plane forever. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for takeoff. How long is this flight again? 10 hours. 10 hours there and 10 hours back. That's 20 of your 24 hours. Mmm, someone's good at math. <laughs> That's what I love about you. That and your smile. Oh, and your frown. And that in-between smile and frown face. And your profile. Oh, in the back of your head. Oh, look at your ears. What are those? Noise-canceling headphones. You don't happen to have another pair, do you? Stonehenge, one of the oldest structures in the world. Low light. Was it the druids who built it? Or aliens? Hmm? The world will never know. It's the Eiffel Tower. The world will never know. Oh my gosh, hurry! We only have two more hours left in Paris and we haven't fallen in love yet! Wait, have you fallen in love yet? 
Okay, well, quit staring at Stonehenge and let's see the rest of the city! <laughs> what are we gonna do? We're stranded in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I always knew I needed to die this way. All right, let's not panic. We'll just put up the sail and sail back. Where's the sail? I didn't get one. What? I didn't have enough money. I was forced to choose between a sail and this jacuzzi. So if anyone's to blame, it's Porky. I gave you everything I had. I'm a completely broke. The fact that you're not more financially successful is not my fault. <gasps> what? Is it me? It's him, right? We'll just radio the Coast Guard for help. Nope, no radio. What? There wasn't enough money. Not after I got the second jacuzzi. I have an idea. Let's all take a long, hot soak in the jacuzzi. It will relax us, which will allow us to think of a way out of our predicament. I'll take the master jacuzzi. You two take that one. You remember to bring your swimsuit? Yep. Because we're going to do a lot of hanging out by the pool. You got sunscreen? You look like you burn easy. Oh, baby, this is gonna be big. This spring break is gonna be epic. We're going for it, Porky. We're not holding back. We're not going to bed early or sitting this one out or counting calories. We are going hog wild. No offense. <gasps> what? Uh, I think I left the iron on at home. I think I left it on. It could easily start a fire. Porky, please. You didn't leave the iron on. That's the stress talking. That's exactly why we're going down to Mexico. To let it all go. Ladies and gentlemen, we may experience a little turbulence ahead, so I've turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Aren't you gonna be that buckle your seatbelt? I'm on spring break, man. I don't have to play by the rules. Ah! Uh. See? It's getting warmer already. I knew this was the right way to go. I don't remember you saying anything about walking to Twain Twack South. It was implied, you little yellow nimrod. <laughs> We walk the tracks if we could ride the rails. We make a pretty good team. <laughs> We're alive? We're alive! Who cares about that? We're free! It's like I have a clean slate, a fresh start. And this time, I'm gonna be a little less charitable. And yeah, not so fast, Bob. We gotta turn ourselves in. Are you crazy? That guy with a Neanderthal-shaped head will kill us! I'm not letting one bad apple ruin prison for me. I'm going back to jail. Well, I'm gonna live my life on the lamb. <laughs> we gotta do something about this. Follow me. Step 
one of life on the land. Change your appearance. And if you're going to be attached to me, you're going blonde, too. Tap, what are you doing? Oh, da Are you crazy? Well, hello. Be on the lookout for two prison escape beats, a gray rabbit and a black duck. <laughs> Not so fast. I have some business to take care of. Once we get this chain off, you can turn yourself in all you want. Oh, I will. Jail was the greatest thing that ever happened to me, and you're not gonna keep me from it. Excuse me, officer. I uh, don't mean to bother you, but my name is Bugs Bunny, and this is Daffy Duck, and we're supposed to be in jail. You're Bugs Bunny? The one and only. And you're Daffy Duck? I didn't say that. I don't see the resemblance. Well, then, how do you explain this chain? Your personal lives are your business. Stay out of trouble. No! Take me with you! Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? Wherever this will take us. Now this is more like it. Surfing, scuba diving, skydiving, alligator wrestling, cliff jumping. There's so many risky activities that require skills I don't have, I don't know where to start. Where's all your stuff? I've got everything I need right here. Mary Higgins' clock and my SPF tidy. I'm not gonna live like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna lounge like there's no today. <laughs> It's that famous starlet, Starlet Johansson. Oh, she's mine, you hear me? Mine, mine, mine! I'm the one who's always loved her. I've seen all of her movies. I'm her biggest fan. What's her name again? You think I should let that one slide? Yeah, me neither. If there's one thing women love, it's a guy who knows how to show off and snort and chew with his mouth open. That makes me a triple threat. Behold, masculinity personified. The Pearl of the Orient. <gasps> I, I just thought of something. I, I think I left the oven on. What are you talking about? This morning before I left, I made biscuits and I think I forgot to turn off the oven. It could start a fire. First of all, who makes biscuits before they leave town for a week? And second of all, stop worrying. We're on spring break. Let's just get on the bus and forget all our troubles. Acapulco, here we come! Don't go too fast, or too slow. Are you nuts? Sorry, my mistake. They should really label these buttons more clearly. I'll try another one. I'm flying! I'm like a bird! Wait, I am a bird. I'm like a plane! Hey, good looking what? Cooking, because it smells like you're stirring up some love stew. You know what I think you should do? I'll tell you right after the phone. Turns around, I think you should give me a great big glass of gin 
Jarrell could not get a from going back. And fight. Come on, whatever your name is. Point your looking balls at your future ex-husband. You dumb, famous actress! Surrounded by so many beautiful things, beautiful, expensive things. The Louvre is the most incredible place in the world. The Louvre is an art museum? I thought it was a mall. Oh well, <laughs> when in Rome. <gasps> Wait a second, we're not in Rome. <gasps> we should go to Rome! Or we could just roam around here. They have great malls in Rome. The Mall of America's in Rome. Oh no, wait, that's in Canada. <gasps> we should go to Canada! <laughs> wow, the White House. Lola. I thought it would be more white and a little more house looking. Oh, our poor president has to commute 10 hours to work every morning and then do a bunch of politics all day and then get right back on that plane and fly another 10 hours just to do it all over again the next day. That man deserves our support. Lola. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. Lola, stop. You need to stop talking. We're in one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Let's take a deep breath, look around, and just take it all in. That's a great... With no talking. No, that whole thing would have been a lot more better with talking. Oh. Yeah, well, we've been on this bus for nine hours. Yeah, but when are we gonna be in Acapulco? <laughs> you see, we're here. Porky, you gotta chill out. Maybe trust me for once in your life. Where's the, the, the beach? I'll ask this guy. Excuse me, can you tell me where the beach is? Uh, the beach? Acapulco. Acapulco? Uh, this isn't Acapulco. This is Acapulco. Wait! Wait! Don't, don't worry. The bus will be back. In a week. I think I have our answer. Porky should swim back and get help. Off you go, Porky. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it. What are you doing? No one's swimming anywhere. We're sailing back. Where'd you get a sail? 
It's your bed sheets. What? Those are 1,500 thread count Egyptian cotton. <laughs> Do you know how much these sheets cost? More than life jackets? That's why there are no life jackets on board. Well, that may make you look stupid. <laughs> He's unconscious. What should we do? Psst, Porky, untie me. I can't. I I'm under either direct orders not to. You know, Porky, being out here in the middle of the ocean has really made me reevaluate some things. I see now that it's not money or things that matter. It's friends, best friends. And you, Porky Pig, you are my best friend. Do you really mean it? Have you ever known me to lie? Uh, y yes, you lied about it and needing a kidney transplant. That's in the past. Now please, untie me so I can give my best friend a great big hug. You won't regret this. Yeah? Now go swim and get help! Ah! Porky! Well, I guess it's just me now, all alone on a yacht, stranded in the middle of the ocean, with no life jackets and no idea how to sail. Bugs! Porky! Wait for me! These are coming with me. Mm. It's like being caressed by an angel. I regret nothing! Stop <laughs> buying those life jackets! <gasps> it was a dream. It was all a dream. That explains why I was such a horrible person and did all those horrible things. Eh. Uh. Not a dream. You are a horrible person, and you did do those horrible things. Then what happened? We were picked up by a passing ship. You nearly drowned in your stupid bedsheets. What about the Queen of the Ocean? Did she survive? Yeah, it was towed back to shore. <gasps> oh, thank goodness! It is things that matter. This proves it! We sold it and got Porky's money back. <laughs> I have good news and bad news. The good news is there's no complications from the near drowning. The bad news is we ran some tests and it looks like you're gonna need a kidney transplant. Huh, ironic. How much does one of those cost? I don't know, about $375,000. But I'm sure you have insurance. I think I left my curling iron on. Curling iron? You don't have any hair. It's for my tail. It, it, sometimes I forget to turn it off, and it states it, it, very clearly on the side, it, 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 do not leave unattended. It, it's unattended. It could start a fire. You are bumming me out, Porky. Now listen, we may be in the middle of nowhere, but I am determined to make this spring break epic. We gotta do something crazy, man. All right, let me think, let me think here. Oh, I got it. What if we attach a million balloons to that donkey and just watch them fly away? Where would we get a million balloons? Okay, good point. I got it. Maybe we roll them around in maple syrup and stick a bunch of newspapers to them. Where are we going to get the syrup? Or the newspapers? You know, it's real easy to be the guy who points out the problem. I need the guy who points out the solution. Uh, I can't think. It's, it's, it's they're too hot. That's it. I don't know if this is such a good idea. Porky, streaking is one of the ultimate spring break pranks. So we're, they're really doing this? Oh, we are doing this. On the count of three. One, two, three! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what is the matter with you people? Don't you get it? We're streaking! We are completely naked! Oh. 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 Jail? For streaking? It's spring break. It's what you do. Maybe we should have just done something to that donkey. Now, we're all going to play a little game. We're going to see who can go the longest without making a sound. I don't want to hear one word out of anyone till we get to the Grand Canyon. But... Not one word. I was just going to say that you forgot to take the car off the jack. <laughs> you lose, Ma! I miss Dwanny. Yeah, me too. It is with sincere regret that the great Black Jacques Chalac can inform you that he has uncharacteristically lost sight of his most elusive bounty. Scratch that. Call you later. Oh, now let me see. Where did I put that pretty bow for your hair? Oh, where do you think you're going, Mr. Lumpy Bottom? You can't go flying out the window without first asking for permission. <laughs> Who would have thought the desert would be so hot? Junior! What are those animals doing in my car? Papa, you said I could have them. You know you're not allowed to have pets. Well, actually, dear, you said he could keep them. Fine, but I ain't gonna be the one burying them this time. Burying them? It's all fun and games until someone gets crushed. Oh, Henry, Junior's just what I like to call lethally affectionate. Yipe. Uh, I think it might be time to say goodbye to our bear family friends. Ooh, I got an idea. Uh, Pa? I think I had an accident in my pants. Didn't I ask if you had to go to the bathroom before we left? But, Pa, I did not have to go when we left. Let's boogie. <laughs> 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 